retreads, rewrites, recaptures, whatever you call them, they are your past clients and you can turn some business out of it. Yes, your existing pipeline right now of your past clients who you helped in the past, there is more likely some business that is brewing and these are the lowest hanging fruits. Now you have two opportunities with your past clients. You have the ability to, um, you know, of course, rewrite their existing loan, but then you also have the opportunity to, to market your services to that past client's network. And so, for example, if your existing lender services your paper, services your loans, they may have to pay what's called an EPO, which is an early payoff um, uh, fee. And ultimately, you know, you could ask your sales manager, you could ask your, your retention department if that, if that even applies to you. But ultimately, if you pay it off within, you know, typically six to anywhere from three months to 12 months, then the company stands a chance of losing money. And so they look down upon that unless it's for retention efforts, unless they have, you know, a possible chance for the loan leaving the books, leaving the, the servicing. And then, of course, you'll have the, you should have the okay to go after it because then the company stands to lose money regardless. And then you have loans who are outside of that EPO and they're okay to rewrite. So if you have a loan that's within that EPO limit and your company faces a chance to pay a fee and they are not being, your, that past client is not being solicited, consider networking with them until it's time for you to rewrite that loan. I don't want you to get in trouble. But if you consider all of the other outside factors that your possible, that your pipeline possibly has, and this could be so much of an advantage that it opens up your opportunity to, you know, approach your sales manager with this idea. But what you want to do is you want to look at all your past clients. You want to go to your manager and even ask him for departed agents past clients. These are, you know, LOs that used to be there before you or probably with you, but then they dropped off or they went where they believed the side was greener. And they have, you know, the past client, their past loans. And what you do with these past loans is you put them on an Excel sheet or your CRM and then you bucket them. You bucket them into FHAs, you bucket them into VAs, you bucket them into, you know, CLTVs, right? Like it had a second or it had an equity line of credit. And then you bucket them into, you know, first time home buyers, right? Or, or debt consolidation or cash out versus rate term. And the reason why you're doing this is because you're just creating a hyper-focused campaign that's specifically molded to a different type of prospect. These different type of prospects are those who are familiar with you. They're familiar with how the game works. They understand the logistics with your company. So they understand, they, they know your name. They're, they're used to receiving your emails. They're not running from you. They're telling all your competitors that, oh no, I'm okay. I'm not in the market. Um, and, and they just need kind of a, a, a courtesy follow-up is ultimately what they need. And so my strategy, what I currently do right now is I do a three contact attempt. So I do, I do initially a voice message, then an email, then a text message. And because we just rolled into 2018, what I, what I was doing was, was I was just saying, Hey, uh, happy new year, you know, welcome to 2018. Just want to give you a courtesy update as we go into the new year. Your your eligibility for a courtesy checkup is 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 already coming up. So I can either email this to you or we could schedule an appointment on on the phone. Please let me know before the end of this week as the the information is time sensitive, and that's it. It's very vague, right? And just saying, just basically giving the impression that hey, I'm going to send it to you. This is something courtesy. This is already on its way. You can get it by email or you can get it over the phone. And a lot of times they ask by email just because everyone's busy, right? It's very Sometimes you'll get them on the phone. That's why it's good to always leave that alternative option because you might have Mildred and, you know, San, Sanford who only wants to talk on the phone, right? They don't even own a computer and, some, and you need to leave an out for them, right? You need to leave an out for them. And so... And so when you, when you schedule that appointment or when you, when you, when they reply back and say, yeah, go ahead and email that to me, then this is your dialogue to open it up, right? And say, okay, great. Let me go ahead and confirm ever since we funded your loan, nothing has changed with income, credit, employment. You want, you want to verify that, right? Um, and you know, no new debts, no new liabilities because you don't, the last thing you want to do is take that loan all the way through processing and then figure out that they just bought an RV, right? Like, um, you know, I had that happen to me one time I was responding to a trigger, which is a retention notice. 
and they even told me at the very beginning that you know they just bought a car and so I was just so hyped and excited about getting them on the phone um, that I you know we ended up going through the process and at the very end like oh yeah that car you know it just happened to be a $900 BMW payment and uh, of course the loan um, had to it died and, and it we ultimately revived it later on but you know you, you're able to kind of avoid those delays and so my recommendation to you is look at these buckets and you want to keep in mind of certain things like VA VA has Earl's attached to them right so even if they're not exempt they they still have a VA Earl that can assist them with lowering their rate and payment even if it's lowering their rate just a tiny bit um, typically with VAs you can offer enough lender credit to cover the closing costs so that it becomes a free loan and besides lowering the rate lowering the payment you all you're able to refund them their existing escrow balance and also their payment deferral so depending on their loan amount this could be anywhere from two thousand to sometimes six seven thousand dollars depending on when in the year they fund uh, how much is in their existing account and that means a lot like that six thousand dollars can really pay off like four thousand dollars of credit card debt that this veteran this poor veteran has to pay two hundred dollars on so if you wipe that out save him two hundred dollars and then put two thousand dollars in his bank this man thinks that you're walking on water this you know he's very grateful for that and but you you know some of us will look at it just just from the surface and be like oh yeah but he has three and a half i can only do three and three eighths I don't know he's gonna buy all right never mind right like like you like do you want the business or do you want to just do you want to sell yourself on why he's not gonna buy you gotta you gotta get creative and dig deep and then of course you got the FHAs FHA is similar to the Earls they have the streamlined refinance but then you have to meet NTB right however if you do an FHA to FHA full doc then you can get some sort of a refund back on the UF MIP you know sometimes the MIP or the MI can uh, be deducted because it's under you know a specific LTV and then of course the same thing right like they get a payment deferral and the escrow refund so you got to keep in keep in mind those numbers keep in mind what that estimate would be and if this person has no debt and it's just a mortgage then probably keep it moving but if this person has a lot of debt and and when you open the dialogue you want to confirm oh you know what I need to update your assets how much do you have existing currently today if you print it out a bank statement how much do you have existing today inside your inside of your uh, checking and savings and if they say anything less than one mortgage payment then of course you want to help them so you want to say oh yeah well let me go ahead and show you this option real quick this is going to enable you to to you know uh, 10x your your existing balance in your account and this will help you lower your rate and payment and help you pay off these credit cards and help you build up your FICO and help you improve your you know there's so many things going on um, and keep in mind though that the approach is that this is courtesy this happens regardless because you've been you've been current on your existing payments you're current on your account your account is in good standings and this is a this is something that we provide courtesy to ensure that you know you you're aware that we appreciate your business and so it's headed to your email you can either you know reply back when you receive it or you can let me know what time is uh, is good to schedule a call let me know and and I'll reply back this is if you you know have to leave a voice message or email let me know which one you prefer and I'll either send it by I'll send it to your email or we'll we'll connect later today before I leave the office and ultimately it's very inviting right it's just it's regardless this is going to happen to you it's just going to show you what we can do to help improve your term and when it when it becomes a, a, a a check-in that's already in the process of it's easier to digest it's harder to turn it down it's harder to, you know if someone called you and said hey you know what we we're, we're your we're your lender on your car loan and we got we got uh, this courtesy update it's gonna show you how to save some money on gas right um, it's already on its way it's gonna come to your email it's gonna come to your home right I could send it to your mail you how did you want it I'm not gonna turn them down say oh no I'm okay right just say just I'd tell them say okay you know what go and send it to my email or go ahead and send it to my house address. Now, if this person said, okay, what's your house address or what's your email, then I'd be suspicious. I'd be like, bro, you said you own my loan. You should have my information. That's when it becomes, you know, suspect. But if you could find and get creative with that transition, and I'll help you get there, you should be able to open up that opportunity to create the, you know, a rewrite, a retread. And, and you'll find that it's far easier because if you did their loan before, then you can have you know you could pull up the original file uh, like their w-2s or tax statements and all that from their past funded loan and so it becomes very simple very easy and very fast to do these type of loans 
and you'd be amazed how many people avoid these type of loans because it's just it's a different approach but i believe those that's the lowest hanging fruit so if you have to retread and you have if you have your own past pipeline you need to approach them with a courtesy update today and consider doing a voice message an email and a text message all around the thesis of hey you know we're sending out a courtesy update 2018 had a lot of changes with tax reform uh, property values and guidelines and loan limits with these agencies and as a client of my company we want to do our diligence to ensure that you're made aware of these changes because now that you have a courtesy update or now that you you have your entitlement review or your entitled review or your complimentary review of your existing terms I think it couldn't have come at a better time to consider these new developments and and as we you know extend out our courtesy service this could be a way for you to get on the other side of where you're looking to go you know somewhere along those lines and it's always like hey you know what it's on its way anyway so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna email it to you or give you a call let me know what works for you and they're gonna respond back to either one right just because there's that curiosity when, when they don't respond back to one is when we do the entire pitch on our voicemail hey you know what this is Daniel I got a 3.99 two points and this is a rate term and no cost and your FICO needs to be you know just what the fuck bro like hang up the phone they're not gonna call you back and uh, and sometimes we just need to get it and I hope that this video finds you so it helps you get it so i hope this video helps if this is your first time watching sales remaster consider subscribing i got more newer and better content coming out this week and it's going to help you in uh, in originating some some dollars so i'm going to help you improve your income increase your income improve your mindset and improve the attitude that you have going into your daily grind i'll see you in the next video bye